Good morning, my gardening friends. Today is September 8th, and I thought I'd do a quick video update. I came out here to check on how everything is growing, and uh, we just had a couple of days of rain, and everything is growing a lot. A lot. So we'll start down here. This is my favorite little garden path that I just finished this year. This Piper. Hello. And oh, well, look at this right here. Beautiful yellow rose. This one has the best smell of all the roses in the garden. And this is the third time that it's blooming. So it bloomed in the spring. I cut it back. Actually, when it when Frank bought it, it was blooming. And then it stopped blooming. I cut it back. I planted it and it bloomed again when I cut it back. And now this is the third time. Same thing with these. So this is all new this year. And this is the third time that this is blooming after cutting it back. So what I do is I cut back all the new growth. And look at these. These are, of course, they're falling over because it was raining a lot. But look at that. I just love looking out my window and seeing these. And then we've got peach ones right here that are about to open. Seems like the warmer it is, the faster they open. You can see the bees are enjoying them. And it also seems like this time of year, we don't have a problem with the beetles that we did earlier in the year. The beetles were making a home inside the roses and destroying the heads before they got to open and look that beautiful. So that's just a little bit about my roses. I love them. And I, I always thought it was hard to grow roses and I never did. This is the first time I've ever had, ro uh oh, did I break that one? <gasps> I broke that one. Shh, I have to cut that off. Put that in water. Whoops. So I always thought it was hard never tried it this is my first year and I'm just using my my intuition and my instinct you know when when the heads are dead I cut them back and um, whenever there's any dead branches I cut that back and it just keeps growing with new growth you can see everything is kind of taken over here this is the time of year that just everything grows wild and crazy and I'm trying to keep up with it but I have created this huge garden and it is a lot of work. And, um, and right now we're back to school. So now we're back to homeschooling. Um, so I've been busy with that with Dominic, but we still have our little stuff growing here. Before school started, I threw a bunch of seeds in the ground because I knew that we were gonna get busy. So I just came out here and we've got some stuff over here. So th these are all my fall vegetables well not all of them but this is a good chunk of them these are all the greens that when they're big enough I'll be moving them into the main bed here and I've been working on clearing that space over there it's taking me forever but you can see everything is getting very overgrown and this is the trellis I just love this how this is growing and uh we came out here yesterday and we tried some of these cucumelons. They are like small sour gherkins. They're a cross between a cucumber and a watermelon. You can see there's so many out here. So they're ripe, I believe. I don't know. This is the first time I'm growing these and Dominic and I tried those. And Dominic didn't like them, but I did. I can't wait till the girls try them because I think that they'll like them. And I was just out here and I heard a bunch of hummingbirds. So that's why I grabbed my, my camera because I wanted to see if I could catch the hummingbirds. They love this. They love all the flowers on here. So maybe while I'm out here, I'll be able to catch one. I don't know. The tomato plants, they took a beating in the heavy rainstorm. You can see, oh, I just stepped on the tomato. So I throw these tomatoes out here for the animals that come into the yard. 
We do have quite a few, and Piper does help to take care of the ones that she can catch. And uh, the ones that she doesn't catch, we just feed them with our extra stuff. Right here we've got a Tabasco pepper plant waiting for those to ripen, but I think I see one. There's one that's just starting to turn there. I'm not sure if these are going to be orange or red yet. And these, this is Bishop's Hat right here, uh, has another name, it's called Mad Hatter. And these do turn orange and they're sweet. And they have that unusual looking shape to them. That's why I grow them, because they're unusual. We've got jalapenos here. These are long oranges. There's a, a long orange, just getting ready to turn orange. And then I put some more seeds in here, and then I've got four o'clocks growing back. I took out all the four o'clocks that were here um, so that I could start planting some herbs. So that's all herbs and different flowers. And you can see here how the rest of everything is growing in. My tomato experiment over here. I mean, these tomatoes really have taken over, but this has been so much fun. Dominic and I come out and we we eat our way around the garden and this is where we start. You can see all these tomatoes here. So these are just from tomatoes, a tomato plant that I had growing in a pot that reseeded itself. And this is called Matt's Wild Cherry. So now I know why it's got that name wild because look at this thing, it's, it's everywhere. So everywhere you sit, everywhere you go here, you've got a tomato, look at them all. So we, we come out and we snack on all these and then we make our way around the whole yard snacking on all the different kinds of things. That's a peanut and I never grew a peanut before. So this is an experiment, but you can see here that is if this was in the ground, that would be a future peanut that is looking to root into the ground. And then at the end, a peanut would grow. So hopefully that's happening on the inside of there. When I pull it out, there should be peanuts in there. So we'll be pulling that out soon because it looks like um, it's almost ready. But I don't even know. I got I to gotta still research that. So... I'll just show you one more thing. I'll make a quick video because I don't want to make it too long. Here we go. We got some habaneros in here. Now I'm getting ready to pick these. I've been waiting patiently for these orange habaneros to grow. They're just beautiful. I don't really like hot peppers. I make a hot pepper chili oil and a hot pepper sauce out of them but I don't really enjoy hot peppers myself. I just love to watch them grow because they're so different and so unique. Just like this one over here. This is called the Black Pearl. And you can see why. Black Pearl right there. And then when they're ripe, and these are ornamental hot peppers. These are very, very hot. When they're ripe, they turn red like that. And these are just cool. They're just very cool. I like to grow them because of the cool factor. Same thing with the masquerade peppers. They start off purple. And then when they're ripe, they ripen to a beautiful red. Now I've already harvested all them because I, I dry them out for my different recipes that I make. So whenever they're ripe, whenever any of these peppers are ripe, or the hot peppers. I pick them and I hang them up in my window in my kitchen in there. I don't know if you can see them from here. Nope, you can't see them hanging there. I'll put a picture out there, show you what I got going on. And last, last but not least, well, not two more things. I'll show you these. This is okra. The okra is growing. It seems to like being in this bed here uh, because this, that okra, is way bigger than the okra I got last year. And last year I had it on the outside of the bed in here. So this is better soil in here. I have uh, 
condition this soil pretty good in there. So they like it in there. Now I have tried this okra so many different ways and I just can't stand the taste of it. I just, I tried, I tried, I tried. So really I'm growing it for the beauty of it. It makes a beautiful flower and it also dries really well for dried flower arrangements. So I, I did give it a try and um, I don't know, I just, it's just not for me, like celery, also not a celery fan. But it is a beautiful plant, you can see here, this is called candle fire okra, flower is just getting ready to, to open there, but beautiful, I mean that's, that's the fruit of it. And there's a different one. There's a Clemson spineless. So the other one over on the other side was a, a red okra. Oh, this. So this is, um, that's a lettuce that went to flower and it made these beautiful flowers. So I'm like, wow, that is beautiful. So I'm just gonna let it grow like this. Like, I don't need to eat it. I'm just gonna let it be like that. And I forget what kind of lettuce that was. That was something I planted in the spring and one of the only ones that I didn't rip out for all the summer vegetables. So I just left it there and look at that. So I, knowing that now I'm gonna plant more of them because that makes a wonderful border kind of plant. It looks like a bachelor button or a chicory, I guess. Um, so it's probably in the chicory family possibly. You could probably eat them. I will have to test one and see. All right, so that's it for now. I hope this video inspires you to get outside and throw some seeds in the ground. It's so easy to do. And, or roses surprisingly now this was my first rose this was a mother's day present from frank and i do the same thing with this one every time it now you can see there that's the next section that i'm going to cut off in the middle there because that doesn't look good anymore and then all the new stuff you can see it all around there will grow so roses are not as hard as you think all right well that's it for now we will see you in the next video